Good afternoon, beautiful people. Let's do an old fashioned opening of these three Hot Wheels main lines. Uh, but first, since this is kind of the communication conduit line channel for all things ignition diecast, uh, there's this thing that we've started doing. I started doing it for one customer and I figured I'd make it available for everybody. And that's the ability to buy stuff as you see it come in stock, but uh, kind of put it on layaway and build a box, for lack of a better word. You can let goods pile up, and then when you do want them to ship, just place one order with shipping, and everything that you've uh, purchased ahead of time with no shipping will ship it all in one bundle. So the two, there's two codes you can use to bypass shipping. That's no shipping. And the new one is build a box. So use one of those codes if you just want to grab something while it's available, but uh, you anticipate making a bigger order in the future, or you can't afford anything more than that one item right now. So um, obviously that can be exploited by, let's say someone orders 50 cars with a no shipping code. And then the next day they order one car with a uh, shipping charge of say five dollars. Obviously, we can't ship fifty-one cars for five bucks. It's going to be more like fifteen or eighteen dollars. So, um, as long as it's not an obvious exploit, as long as the order you do place is within the shipping fee is within a dollar or two of what it actually costs to ship your box, no problem. But um, any obvious exploits will just be deleted, and everyone else will continue to have that option available to them. So here are three main lines I'm going to crack today. I haven't split them yet, so you're going to have to put up with the razor. So this first one is a 70 Chevelle. It's a Kroger exclusive purple with kind of greenish stripes. I need it. I've got the other colors and I've had this for a long time. It's just been uh, carded. I think this is the final car from my carded collecting days that I have yet to open. So there it is. White plastic interior. Kind of funky. But it's a custom. Someone may have painted their car this way. Next is this purple, purple El Camino from this year. I kind of collect Chevy trucks, El Caminos. So this is a keeper, and I had a cracked bubble anyway. Couldn't really sell it to you in good conscience as a carded car, and rather than sticking in the loose selection, I figured I'd keep one first. There's no such thing as a rare main line. They all show up eventually anyway, so it's just a matter of patience. Very cool purple. A Camino from bottom, pretty rad rims. I like it. And then last is this Dodge Charger, also a 70 from uh, this year from the Art Cars. So I'm kind of torn whether I put this up with the Chargers or if I put this over there with the uh, small gathering of art cars or to say i think i have more room in the art cars section so i think that's where it's going to go for now but um never met a charger especially a hot wheels that i did not keep wacky wacky paint job pink and purple tires Chrome interior, which is part of the uh, 
grill and engine piece. Chrome tail. Not realistic, even for an art car, but I wanted it. And I have never, not even once, figured out what the art cars from a particular year spell out. So if anyone ever bothered to figure that out in years past or have any ideas about this year, go ahead and let me know. But uh, those are the cars for today. That's the only message I had. Yeah, I have dog hair on my shirt. And um, talk to you tomorrow.